back to share. And I'm going to ask you, can you see this now? Yep. Okay. And you can, I know you know I use Clarius. So I know you know yours would be much clearer. And besides, you're saying you're oblique on that pec major tendon anyway. And that the long head of the biceps would be here. And here's our, here's our humerus. Um, coming up there. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just basically coming up, doing a scan, coming through a short head underneath. Uh, and, and, and we're starting to see the bicipital groove here, uh, lesser tuberosity or tubercle is here. And I start to see something at the top, which I, again, maybe I'm seeing this little area here. It starts to pop in. And then I'm going to go back to explore the long head, of course, you know where that is, but, but I'm going, I'm seeing what, what is a, is a structure that ends up looking like that. Now it looks to me like that's under at least a periosteal type echo. And, and yet that's a hypoechoic thingy. So now I'm going to come back and, and ask you about it. What, what, what is that? I don't know what they, they, they are almost certainly, uh, Periosteal cyst, uh, not periosteal cysts, uh, uh, cortical cysts. It's, is it filled with anything? Is it filled, is, or is it just, it's empty, it's like a, um, a balloon of non-cancellous material. It, yeah. it, it's not secondary to um, a subscapularis that pulled up and it created a, a, a cyst inside. Is it common to you? Will you see it in the course of a month a number of times? I probably would see it, not necessarily in the course of a month, but I would see it. You know, we, 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 you come across them, you'll see all sorts of things. You'll see sometimes when you get a, uh, some of the more severe calcific tendinosis, where you get the chalk, that's sometimes coming out of a, something that looks very similar, but with bright material in it sometimes. Uh, but you, you, you see them. I haven't found any significance to them. No one's ever uh, supported any significance to them. But it's, it just, you get caught, you get cysts in the cortex, cysts in the bone. And if it's close enough to the surface, or if it's just under the periosteum and it's, and it's small, then that's what you will see. So it doesn't represent, or we don't know that it represents degenerative process like a, a spur or an osteophyte it, it it's yeah. not so much that we can see it in juvenile uh presentation as well or it, it could well be um second to some sort of pathological process like degeneration but uh but i've not heard anyone ever sort of relate it specifically to that you know they have, you get bone cysts you get cysts anywhere but but you get bone cysts. Uh, they are benign. I get them a lot in the wrist, which would make me think that it probably is second to trauma. because the wrist A lot of things, broken. just like we saw, you'll yeah. see just under the surface. Well, you, you get a lot of cysts in things like lunate. Now, you don't, okay. you don't necessarily see them on ultrasound, but you do occasionally. But you certainly get them when, in, your, uh, in your MR reports. When you have, and th 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 they'll refer to it as a cortical cyst, or or a, a bone, a, a cyst within the bone. No, but they it. simply report it as an incidental finding, but not as something that is pathological. But that that that's the implication. Yes, I think they these cysts can be pathological when they they are, but but it's it's more to do with their size and them weakening the structure of the bone. You know, because where you've got a cyst, you haven't got your normal architecture. Right. So, right. so a small cyst like the one you see there is unlikely to make count for a hill of beans. But, uh, but a, a larger cyst could potentially cause problems. And you get fractures through cysts and things like that that will may possibly mimic a, a, a pathological fracture. But yes, I, I don't know of any great... You know, no one's ever tied any significance down to these things. And, and you kind of go through them and you think, oh, and then you go, but I can't relate it to the pathology or whatever. <laughs> and so, so at the moment, I would say they are an incidental finding. You know, and, and I probably wouldn't report it unless it was, it, it looked particularly big. Since we talked last, I watched about an hour, oh, two and a half hour 
presentation on the shoulder from um, Australia. Um, there is a fellow down there, David uh, Walkney or David, something like that. Yeah. And, and I, I'm sorry? I know. I, I've seen him on Twitter. I've seen him put things on Twitter. And, and I will tell you that there was another individual that did a live scan of a shoulder that took me to a point of um, that there were a number of things about their presentation that um, that that made me think of you. Uh, one of which is is the way they laid out the um, uh, infraspinatus and the supraspinatus, as opposed to to being that interdigitation. They too uh, aligned them in in a certain way. And what I was prepped to to have them hopefully talk about was this. Um, what did you call the end of a musket? That a they're in the. It's a, it's a trumpet end or a blunderbust. A blunderbust. Okay. So I, I was. I was the the closest thing to what you were talking about that they talked about was how common it is to see uh, the expansion of the supraspinatus go down that side and down, which they claimed all the way to the. To the pectoral um, area, and and that you know they showed a couple of those what looked like split uh, long head of the biceps, um, but but I I'm um, if I I am very happy to share that, that their particular um, that that did cost, but it was such pennies, and 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 I I talked to Dave directly that I don't know how much interest you have I'm. I'm a sponge right now, John, and so that's how come I, I pay for this stuff and and watch it, and and I, I I am just very I was very curious because of the discussion that we had that I've opted to kind of table as part of this presentation um, because of the uh, anonymity. You wouldn't happen to have anything along those lines to share today, or well, or what? I I. I, I I will have something. I did. I put something on Twitter not very long ago. Well, it might have been a while ago, where where it goes all the way. It, it, it goes all the way down into a, a supraspinatus that goes all the way into the thing. I, How come I? I you'd think that I would be. I mean, I'm I'm one of those social media people that do LinkedIn and Twitter so much that I, I don't, I don't recall. You weren't under Sonohack when, when you did no, that, were you? No, this was, this, I'm just, just let me have a look. I don't, I'm kind of out of the loop these days uh, with everything, but uh, it's kind of Twitter. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I go from, how do you get your own stuff up? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, tweets. They use GE, John. How do you like GE compared to like Philips or 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 those kind of? I drive mostly GE. It's almost oh, you all do. GE at the moment. That's now that's not all my own choice. But their portable scanners have, for the last few years, been uh, the the best scanners that I've seen. Uh, certainly, of all the of all the portables I've tried, so that's the one I bought was a GE. Uh, as far as their their uh, higher end machines are, uh, I'm not sure. And where is this? Why is it? Uh, it's tweets. Just, just my tweets. Yeah, I don't, don't know. I would, I would probably have to go and look for it. That's uh, okay. Oh, I will. Okay, you know, uh, my tweet of twelfth of February. I'll share. Can I share screen? Yeah, I, I think yeah. I've given you that. Oh, we yeah. but then you left and then came back the Wait, second good. time. But no, I still good. have it. There we go. Good. Okay, have you got it there? Yep, I do. Right, uh, so we go big screen. So it's not great quality. That's all right. Somewhere I'll have it better quality. Let's go back. 
Uh, wait a second. Yeah, that, that slipped there. Yeah, it's probably better on a smaller screen. I mean, no, I can, I can, I can see it, but that slip, that's what, that's the expansion. Yeah. Let's, let's go. Let's go pull through that. Yeah, there you see there. That's coming well, up. Just that, 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 this, and there, and I'm just pulling it out there, and those fibers are going up into supraspinatus there. Yes, I can see that now. Yeah. But that's not what you're talking about when you're talking about the supraspinatus that that no. actually makes that little that little burst at the very yeah. end. Yeah, let's see. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Uh, I I will have a video somewhere. I'll, um, that's all right. No I, worries. If I see one tomorrow, I will. I if I see a straightforward one that I can show that on. Then I, I will just uh, I, will, I will just take a clip of it tomorrow. But one of the things that I remembered you talking about was the importance of taking the edge a little bit deeper into uh, you know toe toe heel, but taking the toe a little bit more acutely in to the mm -hmm. region of where the biceps are, so that we're looking back at the slope of the greater tuberosity. Is is that correct? Yes. For the greater tubercle. Yeah. Let me. Uh... Let me just have a look. If I go supraspinatus, see what comes up. I haven't got my my hard drive on the system, so uh, return. Why is that not? Oh dear. Uh, let's just see. We go desktop. Search supraspinatus. Just, just, and we want uh, and is a video. Oh. Action super. No, that's not good. No good. I haven't got a video just on right. the system at the moment. Uh, I, I try and I've only got a small memory in my in my Mac, so it's all on my on my backup disks. Could you take me back to the drawing that you were that you did before about the location of this? Because I would like to actually be able to document it again to re-review it. Okay. Um, it that that little that little representation of uh, that I don't know how you draw things that. Um, yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, let's unshare. I don't know if I have the, I don't, don't, won't have saved the drawing, but if I share again, I'm sure we can whiteboard. You just have to remind yep. me. I have it. Uh, I think I drew the, uh, the body of the supraspinatus like that. Yes. Yeah. And then I said that in the front of supraspinatus, there is a uh, a sort of an aponeurosis where the te where the fibers are all joining like this, and as you get down to here, it gets thicker and thicker, as it would do with all the fibers joining. And as it approaches here, it re it, it spreads out like this and sticks to everything, like Spider Man. Are we still in the, we're, we, we've come out from under the acromion and we're yeah. now actually on the humerus or at least, okay, we're under the acromion, but we, we in, 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 the, in the modified crass or whatever the position is that we are calling that. There we go. Okay. And, and, and most of the adjoining area is not muscle. When it does this uh, blunder yes. bust or wonder blust or whatever, this is, this is quite close to the. Um, this is quite close to the uh, uh, greater tuberosity. This is actually where it appears that we can differentiate a more hyperechoic bundle in the footprint of the supraspinatus, where you had said there is a um, the the. the the other portion of the supraspinatus insertion is okay. is not as bright. Yeah. Yes. Let's have a look. 
because uh, I must, I cannot believe I've spent a whole, uh, all, there are no super spinators in this. I, I think my, I'm just having problems with my, with my search criteria on, on the thing. There must be some shoulders on here. Injection subacromial bursa. I can't have gone. I start to be a little bit fussier about, uh, uh, let's have a look at this one. Just, I'm going to uh, stop sharing. Share again. I'll go back to here. Share. Oh, oh, right. No, that's not stop sharing. Share. Desktop two. Oh, can you see my? Uh, can you see my images here? Yes. Or you yes. got my desktop? Yes. <laughs> Uh, right, Carcific Tentinator. Yeah, that will do. Let's have a look at that one. This is this is not an ideal clip because this is just a bit of soft calcin. This is just some soft calcification here within the supraspinatus. Yes. Now, so can you orient me? Is it is the supraspinatus? Is the calcium to the left? of the um of 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 the burst or is it is it not within the non aponeurotic component yeah it is just to the left of the burst yeah, okay so there is is the this is the cable running under here and you see just about to go over the biceps there this is your anterior tendon okay yeah just that bit yeah and as and we're in short axis and as and as we go more distally I, I obviously wasn't imaging that bit. Let's see which way we're going. That's in, yeah, this. It's not a good example of it, but you see, you start to see these fibers here, these dots here, uh, are all, I'm going in the direction of them. You can see the fibers underneath going sideways towards the one. Yes. These fibers, the anterior portion of this, this is all the cape, the, the anterior tendon. Yes. So anterior portion of the tendon. And as we go, so that's going in. Let me just whiz all the way through, make sure that's the best bit to see it on. Yeah, that's the only bit that's, that I capture it on because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the stuff. But here, as you're heading towards, this is us going in towards it. Do you see how some of the fibers here they stop going in forward direction, they're going to the side. Yeah, I'll try and show that. This is sort of in reverse. So this is in the body of the tendon there. We, we, have, we have become more proximal here. We, yeah. you, you've backed up. And so what we're seeing is both the articular cartilage underneath. Yeah. And, and okay, I'm with you. Cable yes. tendon. Yeah. Now, and, let me, I want to yeah. clarify your, the cable. The cable, which I know is a perpendicular fibrous structure, that yeah. that is it. Does it it affixes itself to the bottom of all of the rotator cuffs? Is it a component of the capsule, or is it yeah. its own entity? Um, both. My understanding is that it's and i say that's the cable this is the cap what i would describe as the capsular layer okay but but that's not a textbook thing that's uh, as far as i'm aware I understand. That's just, just so I, I'm, I'm with you now those are the fibers of the did you say anterior um component of the supraspinatus yeah this line here you can just yeah. maybe able to just make out everything below that fiber orientation is across yes basically. Yep. So it's made up of capsule, uh, cable, everything that isn't isn't muscle attached to muscle that, that hasn't arisen from within the muscle. Yes. Everything above that line is stuff that is that is a, from from supraspinatus muscle and is coming down in that direction and is basically load bearing uh, fibers. And this is us going in and it's flattening out and fibers are going off. But these fibers here are traveling across the screen that way. Are they traveling across the groove? No, they, they go into the groove. They literally, imagine you're reaching in to, to uh, 
uh, to get something, a piece of gum off the bottom of your table. Yes. You reach, they, the fibers reach round like that. Yeah. Like Spider-Man's spider yeah. or, or yeah. The, the, the web. Yeah, I'm the web you. stretches round and, and sticks yes. to things, but it reaches into the, into the groove. A bit like, uh, it, all, it remind, always reminds me of um, uh, uh, Tip Post. As, as, follow post. Tibia, the posterior. as it as it goes into the the, the navicular bone and then yeah. beyond to, to yes. the other okay. but the bit that goes into the navicular bone yes it, 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 it's like someone reaching down into a glove compartment of a car you know or, or, or around the side you just you it it comes down but then the fibers angle around and they twist the, your hand twists around like this yes and that's and which is why you have to do a barrel roll when you scan it. See, that's just incredible, John. That's what separates you from, from other people who just simply say, and yeah, it attaches to the navicular bone. But what you're saying is that there's nuanced movements of these fibers. And if you're not following with your probe, incidentally to the fibers, because you know how they travel, you're not getting an image of all the fibers. They're just going dark on you. You can't, you can't scan, you can't scan the insertion of uh, tibias posterior unless, and do you know what I mean by a barrel roll? Yes, yes. Yeah. So got, I, I, I've imaged get, three posterior tibs just yesterday. No. <laughs> so I know what you're talking about, but if I would have known what you're talking about, I would have now been a much better scanner. <laughs> now they all, they all got charged the same, John. But yeah. <laughs> I would be far better at feeling confident about it. <laughs> well, you, you rarely see any pathology there. It's it's purely for a technical thing, you know. The, the pathology is all proximal to that. But but yeah, this, these fibers wow. reach in and they yes. and they stick down the side. Or, or that, that's what I see. Uh, and so when you're examining them, examining them in the normal plane for the short axis. If, if you go go back and you are you are in this plane, as you approach the thing, you are going to see them go dark because they're traveling in a different direction. And so you have to re-angle the probe to follow these fibers in. So I guess what I'm, what I'm wanting to have you draw me is a view of the interval. And then I'd like to have you demonstrate the the, the, the way that you hold your probe so that I know what you're talking about. You're, I think you're attempting to, to put the, the top edge of the transducer into the actual area where we're looking at the slope um, of the greater tubercle. Is, is that right? The, the down that, slope? Yeah. yeah, I think you if you get, um, if we go back to Go back to share. Uh, hang on, I'll probably just use new share, couldn't I? Uh, that probably works. Yeah. So if, if you think of you are looking, if you are standing on the uh, humeral head, and you are you are looking down from the from your from your place on the humeral head, and you can see your sort of tabletop mountain. Yes. There, and this slope here. And the fibers, you can imagine the fibers are flying like little dots straight. They're, they're, they're attaching along, the bits that are attaching along here, the fibers have rotated this way. So, so let that. me just. Yeah, let's, let me think of what, how, you, how you could show that. Uh, the, the, the top line of what you've just drawn, John, is not the periosteum. It is the representation of the actual rotator cuff. And the dip you have is where the long head of the biceps would be. Yeah, the long head of the biceps comes out of this, this arch, this, uh, this, this bowl shape here. But you are you you are showing me you are showing me bone there. Okay, all right. And, but but bone is what the topography was that you were drawing before. Yeah. Yes. So undo that bit. So so yes. Yeah, so that's what you would see if you were standing on the if you were standing here, and you were a little man. Yes. Little, your little stick man standing there. Okay. Yeah. 
So he's standing there, or stick dog in this case, uh, and you're looking there. <laughs> so your probe needs to be, you've come down with the probe. Ooh, that's not a very good shape. I need to get my pen back out of this there. Your probe's like this when you're scanning in long, in short axis. Yeah. Yes, looking I'm at, not looking. I'm I'm looking at the widest part of the probe that yes. the, uh, there. Okay. Yeah. And then, but when you are when you do uh, when you're scanning these fibers, the fibers that are attaching along here, then your angle needs to be this way. Yes. Which is quite tricky. Yes. Yeah. And when you turn your probe into long section. Yes. Your probe then needs to be at this angle. Yeah? To do your long section. Uh, uh, um, okay, so so yeah, we're we're I'm 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 getting you now. You yeah. when you say long section again, you mean my mind is hearing you say it's as though I'm looking down the fibers um the the long axis of the fibers yeah. I've, I've i've turned 90 degrees and i'm now turning it so that instead of what my term would be instead of toggling it i'm wagging it so that it actually is on the long axis is is our fulcrum and anyway i think I'm, i think i understand yeah. what you're so, talking about so, so you're looking at the end of the probe there i'll go and get a probe <laughs> okay. Well, we, we, I'll just use my mobile phone. There we go. In the other room. Yeah. Can you see me? Because I can't see yes, me. On I can. I can see you just fine. So, so that's yes. your probe. Yes. Get your picture out of the bottom here. Yes. And so when you're when you're looking at supersymmetry in short axis, it's like this. Yes. And then you turn this way to get the long axis. Yes. Yeah. But when you get to the groove, when you go, so you go the back of a rotator cuff, back of the supraspinatus is here, the front of the supraspinatus is here. Yes. But if you get to the front, you have to roll it this way to see yes. the fibers properly at the very leading edge because they're coming, they're going from like this and then they, they, they turn around like this wow. and they come along the slope yeah in into the groove and when you scan it in long in short axis you're like this yeah and you go straight in and you see most of the tendon but the yes. very leading edge that go this way you have to go this way yes. and pitch down yes so you have to go nose down and follow the individual fibers whether they're going you pitch up a little bit because some of them spread and stick to the roof <laughs> The roof over the long head? Um, probably, no, in the, uh, that becomes the long head. The, 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 they stick into uh, the, you've got the, the fibers of the uh, coracohumeral ligament coming in. Yes, yes, uh, okay, yes. You're going and sticking uh, up into those and they're blending in with, uh, and then they dive down underneath, but it, it just sticks to everything. And, and some of the and some of the fibers are then going down into into the groove. Those ones they talk about going into the, the expansion, going into that is just part of that process of everything spreading out. And they just they right. just didn't have anything to attach onto, so they kept right on a growing. They keep on growing because <laughs> that, that's what nature does. Yes, isn't that something? And, just and longer roots. Because you'd like to, because it'd be nice to di dissect a few of these out. Because I suspect, because also sometimes in some of the texts. Uh, dissection text they describe biceps when it comes up also having multiple attachment points including into into that the roof of that section under the bursa because so you think the bursa makes a, a, a roof as well over that area so now that, other fibrous band other than being able to recognize that this happens and my mind, again, is in awe of the amount of time you took to look at those small slices of the MRI to, to, to even see that it did this. But the, the ability to know that this happens, tell me about how it has played into identifying characteristics 
or maybe assisted you in 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 the interpretation or delivery of of intervention well what the the real practical use of it is you're looking at a supraspinatus and you see these all these changes around the edge of it and it's very easy in some of them because because the anatomy is very different and it gets and and, and if there's tendinosis there the image quality starts to fall down and then, which you must see a lot of, and the, the bits of fatty infiltration, all sorts of things go on there. Uh, and then you see these dark areas and you think, is that a tear? And unless you know, unless you understand how those five directions go, you're in real danger of thinking that's a tear. And we used to, the number of old reports I see where people have described a tear of the leading edge of supraspinatus, and yet I know that in all but the most sporting populations, they're rare as rocking horse droppings, I say. <laughs> that's yes. only without trauma. Without Be trauma. Uh, and, and yet so many reports come back. And what they've done is they've seen this dark area and not been able to make it brighter with their normal toggling of the probe. But they do get bright when you follow them in. And so all these patches. Yep. And, things. and so it's, it's about not... For me, that is about not overcalling tears. That's it's not useful in any in, in any specific sense. We're not at, at the point where we're we're treating them in that in any more detail than that. You know, if we started doing PRP injections into localized areas of supraspinatus, it might be relevant, but it, it would still be to get you to shy away from not thinking there was something wrong there. And that's it. It's that not it these anterior tears. That makes perfect sense. Um, I'm 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 all ears, buddy, and I'm also willing to let you go early if you. Oh, I, I did want to tell you that um, I don't know when you're going to be getting your uh, American uh, uh, jerky, but I've, <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. I had no idea just what our postal service values or places on the value of getting something like that from my house to yours. Because I'm telling you, the greater part of what I spent on getting that jerky was spent again on sending that to you. So all I can tell you, buddy, is that I really appreciate you and, and, and the appreciation exceeds whatever flavor you get out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a, a real treat. Um, <laughs> I don't know when it's going to get there. Again, in light of what your ports are doing, is that has that gotten any better? I, I I've not heard that it's got better. I, I I haven't heard much about it, but it was a. They were talking about it on the radio. There's all sorts of complaints from the business world, but uh, but I'm, how about I'm, the rollout of your vaccines? Is that is that happening all around you? I mean, are are is your community uh, getting it already, or how does that? How is that happening? No, they, well, they've got. I think they've got a hundred thousand doses at the moment. So, and and you know, it, we're, there's sixty million of us. So it's <laughs> having, and and, and there, are, and, and it's a complicated virus. It's got to be kept at minus seventy degrees. So, so the rollout will be uh, is a technical challenge. They're not. We, we've not seen it, and they're only getting their first doses. At the moment, anyway. So we we are we will wait and see. Uh, so how 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 large will be your celebratory group there at your place around the the around your fancy plants and your? Uh, will it be the five of you? No, Chris, Christmas. Everyone is getting very. Uh, there's there's been a big surge in the number of cases, and so everyone is being pushed to being really careful. And we've just moved into what's called tier three, which means. By, by Saturday, all our pubs and all our restaurants will be closed. You mean the higher the number, the more restrictive? Yeah. So it's it's one, two, three. And so the, uh, we're going from two to three because there's been a, a large increase in the number of cases. And there's, wow. there's a relaxation of the rules over Christmas. And so they're expecting to be a, a third wave uh, in January because of it. And so there's a lot of pressure you know, they're, they're putting a lot of pressure to try to to curb that a little bit. Now, where was it? There was something I wanted to show you. And, and I had it up just, 
just before 11th of December won't be it. What's the GPKS seven? Where on earth have I put it? I might be here. Yeah. I think I might have shown this was one someone I scanned uh, on Monday. I don't know. Do you know what you're looking at? Um, I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, right. Oh, that, that's because I haven't shared you with you. <laughs> I was testing your psychic abilities. <laughs> this, 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 you know, other than that little uh, cleft to the right, looks to me like an AC joint. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah. I don't know what's underneath that. It looks, go back and show me the long axis of it. Oh my goodness. I guess I would, I would, my, uh, an epiphyseal plate. I, I, oh no, no. That, we're, this is a, this is a meniscus type thing. I, I don't know. Help it's me out. This is this, a disc. this, 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 this. That's okay. Tell me, tell me where it's located. Uh, this is uh, about, I think it's about the umbil umbilicus. So we're talking that centimeters on the right. Yeah. So, so, so it's depth of one centimeter. Wow. Our people are thin here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! This is an intervertebral disc. Seen yes, but at, at at what level? About but about, about the um, umbilicus, about belly button. Oh, you did say that. Wow! How how hard are you pushing in here? Uh, not very. Isn't and how old is the the patient? Um, youngish, I think. Or men? No, I think she was she she was slim. She was definitely slim. Uh, it's, it's, show me more. Is is it, can can you differentiate the ALL there? Pardon? Is that is that the ALL, the anterior longitudinal ligament that we're looking at? I, presu I presume so. <laughs> but uh, but yes. Yeah, so so when you turn around, that's what you see. Wow. So we're talking vascular behind. No, this is the uh, this is the spinal column. Oh oh. Man alive. That's and I'm, I'm seeing that the nerve roots exiting on either side there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's wow. Right. How recently? This was, yes, uh, on Monday. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. This was with a fairly basic portable scanner on a slim patient. And you can just see through the disc. I can I, I can see the long now uh, on the other one now uh, now that you flipped it to the other I can actually see the differentiation of the central cord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Anyway, so I, I just I just happen when I get a really slim patient in and I'm looking at their their abdominal organs or whatever uh, or for hernias I just have a little peek inside and uh, and they got uh, and if they're slim. Because if you're slim, there's nothing there. May mm -hmm. I, may if I promise I will give my buddy credit for it, can, is there a way you could anonymize this and make this available for me to, to, to use on a, on a PowerPoint? Uh, yeah, where's, um, it is anonymized. I've chopped everything off. So, so yeah, you can. Uh, Man. Uh, I, have I got your email address on, up on the system? I don't know that. I, I, I think it's the one that you get the invitations to. Oh, oh just, I, just play me. That one will work. That's not my, that's, yeah, let's, either way, that one or the APT1 one, but either, either one works for me. What, what you, the easiest thing for you. Yeah, well, let's just, because it, it, it won't get, it, it's one of those things, it won't get done unless it gets <laughs> Beautiful. And don't don't worry about crediting. It's oh, of like, course I will. <laughs> any any time you you know me. Anytime I can bring up a story of some guy wearing some kind of a 
a, a Nor, 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 Nordisk uh, or, 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 or whatever uh, sweater. What did you call that again? What was the name of that? What's it called, Christine? A Lus- I think she calls it a Lusikopter. A Lusikopter. But her, she, her, her, uh, some of her uh, uh, old relatives are Norwegian, so... <laughs> I think it. I think it's fabulous. The other thing that I heard you pronounce what 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 you call that plant, and I'm going to ask your daughter to to look behind you on the on the counter and 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 tell me what that plant is. I'd like to know how it's actually named because it was different. Pronounced you pronounced it differently than we do we do over here. What what kind of a plant is that? Uh, we call it the ponsettias, but a ponsettia. Okay, I, I, that and 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 over here, <laughs> we've we've we've. In fact, I think where's mine? Oh yeah, I mean, I don't know if you can. I I, I can't see what I'm looking at, but you, it's on the on the. On I the guess track. it's it, it's part of Christmas. We just call it a poinsettia, a poinsettia, but she calls it a ponsettia. Pon- see, I, pon- you you guys owned this language before we did, so I've got to try to edify us. <laughs> Don't think it's English. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're probably copying it as something else. But was there something else? Was there something else you said you wanted? Uh, um, I don't. Re- I just. I. I was just gonna. I, I don't have anything in particular. I just said you're. You're welcome to head out early if you'd like. I. I like watching whatever you do show. What? Uh, but you mentioned something. I can't remember what it was. Um, I, I was starting to say if you have any interest in, in having access, and I don't know if this was it either, but uh, I, I can send you, I, I would like to show you the live scan um, from that course I looked at only because I'd like to get your take on some of their um, their input. However, is this a fatty, uh, is this a, um, um, a fibrotic after a, a tear? Is this a repair or is that blood? Is that, is that complex sure. fluid? This is this is um, uh, this is quite old, and this is this. The patient had a a fall. I think they fell off a plant pot. They was using. They, they were trying to reach up high with a plant pot, <laughs> and and fell off. And they wondered why there was a lump there, and uh, the lump had gone away. And it was actually I didn't save the video, but there was there was evidence of damage in the fatty layer. But is uh, this calf? Yes, this is uh, this is uh, Celia, uh, Celia. Oh, yes. yeah, and, uh, and and this is what the Celeus looked like, and I sh- presume it was blunt trauma. Wow, and uh, and it just uh, and it, it it bled into it, damaged it, and it's scarred up like that. That's how I would describe it. Wow. But, yeah, anything like this, John, I, I just devour because once I at least have it in my head, I know what it looks like. And this is what I thought it looked like. Now you're down a ways. You're at about four to six centimeters here. Yeah, this was just, I don't do much abdominal scanning, but uh, but I just, uh, I happen to, to do an abdominal scan uh, because they they wanted the abdomen as well as the uh, abdominal wall. So this was a gall. That's what a gallstone looks like in a gallbladder. Wow! So, wow! Uh, and, and and that's a fairly normal thing. You could, but uh, but I just uh, saved the picture just because I thought, yeah, it's it's there. Uh, I wouldn't even know where to orient to where that is, John. <laughs> we, we, we won't. We won't linger on that one then. Uh, let's have a look. This is again. I think this was at the end of last, uh, at the beginning of this week. It's not a great clip. I don't think I had a lot of time. And I was just sort of, uh, just having a quick look. So this is the back of the humerus, humeral head. Yeah. Wow. OA change. Wow, 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 wow. And then it's a bit of a fluid in the, there's some fluid in the. Yeah. You see that capsule is quite lax as well, which is again common. And and obviously you're you're looking at that and saying, well, this isn't a frozen. This, these, the classic shoulders, uh, OA shoulders, they are are stiff. Uh, And a frozen shoulder, but they don't have lax capsules like that. So that's an OA shoulder. 
this uh, person uh, is 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 work work through the pain type of mentality. Hey, do you do axillary imaging on all of your shoulders? Do, do you look at the capsule underneath as a way of evaluating thickness and its it, its culpability to uh, to to adhesive capsulitis? Because that was a big thing down under. I do when when I feel like it, and uh, <laughs> but uh, and I, I haven't done a lot of it. But recently, I've been playing around with it. I I find it a very limited value, and that might be because I'm, I haven't done a lot of it. But what I tend to find is that, uh, and I tend to use it in those really ambiguous cases where there's no changes, when it's the shoulder is stiff limited external rotation, less limited abduction. So abduction is close to, uh, to 90 degrees, but, but slightly restricted. And, and, they, and, and they, so they're presenting as they may be a frozen shoulder, but they have no, no detectable change in the coracohumeral ligament. That's, this, that's over half of them. Uh, I then have a look underneath to see if I can see any significant uh, differences but because if they are at all tight there you I certainly can't get a respectable view from actually in the axilla it's very difficult to get a, a, a reliable comparable view if they can bring it up to close to 90 degrees that's when I use it when it's that ambiguous so there isn't a tight frozen shoulder then I will have a look at the capsule but I have no expertise in interpreting it. I'm just looking and going, yeah, that looks a bit thicker than the other side. So that supports my, my view that this is a frozen shoulder. But yeah, I'm, I'm a way off that. And, uh, you know, you'll have to show me what they do. But uh, yeah, it's, it, it, it's interesting to look at the different um, uh, biases because they couldn't give a rip about subacromial subdeltoid bursa there. They, they, they simply don't do any dynamics because they think it's of no relevance. And uh, and and they 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 just basically downplay the 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 the, the bursa at, at all. But it'll be interesting just to hear their take on it. And and if you have time, uh, you know, share after you look at it if you'd like. Yep. And uh, and uh, and I need to let you go so that yep. now is Florence that pretty girl that I was just talking to a little bit before uh, a, a little yes. bit. Okay, I, yep. I'm noticing that that's the name on your on your zoom here here and so i'm assuming maybe she was doing school or something like that they'll have done uh, she she does beavers oh okay so uh, which is okay. uh, the forerunner of cubs which is a forerunner of scouts so right so uh, so she's been on on this i didn't know she'd been on this machine but yeah she's been on <laughs> Well, very good, John. I don't know whether we're going to, you know, jump over the, the holiday time, but I'll be in touch with you and uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see whether anything works in the next month or so, but we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah, definitely. Just, uh, I just want to, Oh, just, uh, this was, I, I, I think you may have seen this. I may have shown, I think nope. I've shown you that one before. That was, I don't... This, is, um, uh, this, this looks like uh, oh, to a gout or or gout. yeah, that looks like gout, and that was the X-ray there. With this sort of I don't flat. know what gout looks like on X-ray. Does it just is it just uh, it, it it it's a bright area because it it absorbs the the stuff or what? No, this this isn't this isn't gout. This wasn't described as gout on the X-ray, but that's the X-ray of that knuckle. That knuckle has has collapsed and. Huh. And it's very degenerate. And then this is what it looked like. Oops. And that, I'm not sure what, that's a weird little lesion. I just, uh, chronic osteotomy. And that was, uh, this Whoa. is the uh, post-surgical. So they've had a pin through there. Oh. Uh, oh. No, I, I'm not sure. I think all these pictures are a little bit out of order. I haven't had a chance to look at them. I'll just see what we've got. Yeah, this star, oh, yeah. This here is was a lump on somebody's uh, shin. Yeah. Wow. My mind the... my mind saw this as AC joint with the supraspinatus down below, but it, it actually is it, it's between tib fib. Yeah, no, this is the tib, this is the tib, this is all tibia. Oh, this little, uh, hang on, wait a second. 
I might be I might be misleading you. Let me go back to to this, this slide. Uh, oh no! Disregard everything. I'm looking at completely the wrong picture. This is the AC joint. But wait, oh, okay. uh, but uh, they're all all these pictures are mixed up. Sorry. Yeah, so this, no worries. This fracture. This is the AC joint here, and then you go and but this is the, the leading edge, the anterior border. Are, so, is this of the uh, chromium or are we, are we in the shoulder? This is of, of the clavicle. Oh. So this is the front of the, that, that's the AC joint there. But you, if you rolled around, when I saw this is untidy, I saw this. And then I think I saw, and here, this is short axis on the clavicle. Oh my goodness, that's a shard. That's a bony yep. shard. <laughs> oh that is exactly my. how I described it. Good that's, night. <laughs> that's a bony shard <laughs> what, that they've taken off. What about off. that? Anyway, I will bid you good night. All right, John. And you know I'll, I like those kind of things, and I'll I'll be quiet next time when you've got some treats there at the end. Now, All we right. Won't, we won't be here next Thursday because that's, that's we'll re we'll reach out sometimes after that, and we'll just see it. We'll see how things connect. Yeah. Cheers. All right, buddy. Take care and tell your family uh, Merry Christmas. And that, yeah, I'm looking forward to your that uh, beef jerky. Yeah. <laughs> you better get it. That's all I'm. That's all I'm telling you. And 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 well, certainly share sh share at will. But uh, but but it it, it 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 just houses appreciation for how much time you've given me. So thank you very much. That's all right. I'll all see right. you soon. Take care. All right.